My name is Karen Harrison Phipps. I'm one of the consultant thoracic surgeons here at Guy's Hospital. Guy's Hospital is part of the Guy's and St Thomas's Foundation Trust, and one of the biggest teaching hospitals in London. The gullet is a food tube that connects the mouth and the stomach and it passes through the chest between the lungs in what we call the mediastinum which just means the middle of the chest. The symptoms of gullet cancer are a difficulty with eating and that is known as dysphagia. In addition, patients, because they find it difficult to eat, lose weight. Those are the two most common symptoms, weight loss and a difficulty with eating. Patients who do report weight loss with eating difficulty would definitely be referred to um, a unit that specialises in, in diagnosing these problems and some of the tests would include just simple x-rays and perhaps more detailed x-rays in the form of CT scans. But the, probably the most important test is an endoscopy test, which is a camera test where a small camera is passed down the gullet. This allows um, a very thorough inspection of the insides of the gullet, but it also allows the operator to take a piece or a biopsy away that is often very helpful in getting the diagnosis of gullet cancer. The treatment options for gullet cancer are quite varied and there is um, a treatment option for, for every patient. It just depends on their stage of cancer and depending on their fitness as a patient as well. So every patient is individual. But broadly, um, the treatment options for gullet cancer would include surgery, chemotherapy uh, and radiotherapy. Where we can, we like to offer surgery because often this gives the best chance of a cure and an operation uh, to remove a gullet cancer um, is called an esophagectomy. It's quite a big operation, but now with these operations being centred in large expert centres, the results and the outlook can be quite promising. When an operation is not possible for patients with gullet cancer, there still are many treatment options. These would include chemotherapy and radiotherapy, but also a number of other treatments that may perhaps help the patient to swallow better. Chemotherapy and radiotherapy in shrinking the tumour can also gain good local control of the tumour and may prevent or reduce local spread of the tumour. Sadly, gullet cancer or esophageal cancer is on the increase, especially in Western societies. This is down to the effects of uh, increased alcohol consumption, a high incidence of smoking, and perhaps increased alcohol leading to weight gain and the presence of, of reflux, which means acid refluxing out of your stomach into the gullet. All these factors are thought to account for the increase in cancer of the gullet. If unfortunately it is found that you do have cancer of the gullet, there are centres in the United Kingdom of excellence that provide top class treatment for cancer of the gullet, including surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy, and results are improving all the time.